Good evening, and welcome back to Drakenheim. This is the Dungeon Dudes Weekly Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition Livestream Campaign. My name is Monty Martin, running our campaign as Dungeon Master. And I'm Kelly McLaughlin, playing Sebastian Crow, the half-elf shadow sorcerer. And we're joined today by our good friends. Jill Donitis, playing Rudy Whitaker, the sh shifter eldritch knight. And Joe Gorman playing Wrath, the Asimar Warlock. Thank you for joining us once again. It has been too long. Um, much, uh, much thanks for your patience with us during our little bit of our extended break. If you are coming back from the previous episode where we said we'd be back on May 24th, it's now June 14th. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, guys, and, guys. and uh and in the intervening times um we ha have had many events uh, joe has had a baby kelly and i have had a book um and <laughs> uh and many of the backers of our first kickstarter are starting to finally receive their uh their first uh thing uh, their their first uh deliveries now um Thank you all so much for your patience as we dealt with the international shipping, getting holed up in customs and getting stuck at closed ports and everything like that. It's so amazing to see people getting their hands on the Drakenheim books, miniatures, all those fun things, the DM screens. Uh, and uh, we're if you haven't got yours yet, it's in the mail. Uh, Kelly and I are going to be doing an unboxing video probably in, in the next little while. But tonight, we're going to play some D&D. Uh, yeah, um, if you're just tuning in for the very first time, um, thank you, welcome, this is, um, you can check out all of our usual stuff on YouTube, where we stream, where we do new videos every Tuesdays and every other Tuesday and every Thursday, we cover everything D&D, including advice for players and guides for dun Dungeon Masters, so check us out at youtube.com slash Dungeon Dudes. But, oh, oh dear. And, 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 and Kelly's going to tell you about who, how you can join, uh, when you can find our live streams. <laughs> I am struggling to when. remember my scripts. Uh, yeah, we uh, we play live every Tuesday evening on Twitch. Uh, you can check us out from uh, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern time at twitch.tv slash dungeon underscore dudes, which you're watching right now. But you can also check out the video episodes of the show on YouTube, which go up every Friday. Yeah, so we are getting back into the swing of things. We're going to, uh, um, it's, you know, shaking off all that rust, making sure that we all got all, all of our dice. And let us decide the fate of Drakenheim. Drakenheim <laughs> is no more. The devastation which fell upon that accursed place left a kingdom in ruin. Now... Horrors lurking in the haze grow ever more great and terrible. While simmering tensions between rival factions boil over into outright war, the power of monarchs, mages, and priests hangs in the balance. Six unlikely heroes join forces to confront the coming chaos. They shall decide once and for all. The fate of Drakenheim. Welcome back as we decide the fate of Drakenheim. When last we left our heroes quite some time ago, we have had a little bit of a mix-up in our groups, as currently Sebastian is adventuring alongside Wrath and Rudy, uh, and we will be following the the concurrent adventures of Paluto uh, and Veo and Wilhelm once we conclude this little mini mini arc. Well, Paluto, Veo, and Wilhelm are currently traveling to meet with the Silver Order and the Illyrians to possibly negotiate some sort of truce. Our band of heroes today, Sebastian, Wrath, and Rudy, um, have traveled through, uh, through uh, to a mysterious teleportation circle, hoping to find the Queen of Thieves' hidden stash, because she has absconded the Scepter of St. Vitruvio, 
which is one of the relics of St. Vitruvia, which our heroes are using to negotiate with all of these various parties. Are they going to keep it for themselves and possibly offer it to the Silver Order, maybe offer it to Lucretia Matthias? We're not sure. They're kind of still playing, uh, deciding on that. But getting all these things together is going to be essential if they are going to crown Wilhelm uh, with the crown of Westamar. So our heroes have been dispatched to get it back. Having gone through a um, this unknown teleportation circle to the refuge of the Queen of Thieves, based on a strange hint, our heroes found a secret vault uh, set up by the Queen of Thieves, where she had created several golden chests uh, in miniature size, which our heroes uh, discovered are attuned to the secret chest spell. Thus, the Queen of Thieves, as the original caster of the spells, could summon the real chest by using these. But now that our heroes have it, she won't be able to do that because they have the key, basically, that summons the chest back from the space between worlds. As our heroes went to leave wherever the Queen of Thieves' stronghold was, they exited through the sewers into the streets of a place they have not been, either perhaps in some time or ever. For they have set, uh, stepped into the streets of the great free city of Liberio. Now, Liberio itself, as we, as we zoom out to set the scene, is a majestic city. It's a breathtaking sight. And in many ways, the city of Liberio is more a piece of art than a metropolis. It is the largest city in the continent just edging out the population of the great city of Lumen. And the street consists of a maze-like network of canals, tight, uh, tight um, alleyways, elegant arch bridges, and stone walkways, which kind of um, spill over the golden bay of the Middle Sea. Um, everywhere, all around you are elegant buildings of limestone and marble with terracotta rooftops, and they are densely placed in down haphazard little streets and alleyways that branch off of the main canals. Um, all around you is the hustle and bustle of the city, and you can hear in the distance music in the air, the sounds of people in the, in the far off marketplace, and the flowing of water. Um, there are banks, chapels, workshops, galleries, townhomes all around you, and they are separated by larger plazas. Um, you can hear the music of minstrels mingling with the murmur of merchants in the marketplaces. And it gives meaning to that, that phrase, though, that in Liberio, it is the place where gold flows like water. As you look up into the, the, um, the, the sky, it is a brilliant sunny day um, with nary a cloud above, above you. But you can look up and it's e even through the tightly woven city streets of Liberio, you cannot miss this. For hovering in the sky above the harbor is a bizarre sight. There is a colossal tetrahedral monolith that hovers over the city. Um, that is bigger than any structure in the city below it. And it's oscillating slightly in the sky. Its outer facade, you can see, looks like a twisting network of puzzle pieces that have all been built out of either a metal or stone that is in an indescribable color. As you, t as you absorb the sights of the street around you, and as Sebastian, as you turn to look at your pack and maybe leave Liberio just as soon as you arrive within it, you are stopped by the voice of the Queen of Thieves, who stands in the alleyway with you. Um, her arms cross, uh, uh, one, one arm uh, kind of on her hips, the other hand uh, raised up to wave at you. Um, and she is garbed in her iconic apparel, wearing a um, uh, swashbucklers leathers and a red jacket with her wi with her wide brimmed hat. Although, though she is wearing this appar uh, the, her her typical apparel, as you see the people flowing by in this in this main street, you're in a side alley where you've come out of the sewer. Her garb fits in 
perfectly in the barrio. You can see there are other people in the street across that are garbed in, in equally outrageous clothing, great hats, wearing rapiers, and in fact, the you you can you can tell only that it's the Queen of Thieves because she isn't wearing a domino mask. She just has her. Uh, she's just wearing a face that is not unfamiliar to you, Sebastian, but one that is kind of an amalgam of a couple different faces that she's she's worn bef- before. Rudy and Wrath, you've never met her face to face, but um, but you can tell by the expression of fear that, and the sweat that is rolling down Sebastian's brow that uh, this must be the infamous Queen of Thieves. Uh, she, she speaks up and herself says, I hope you're not leaving too soon. I honestly hope that you would want to spend some quality time together. Liberio is a wonderful city and you should absolutely take some time to see the sights before you go. Uh, you know, we, we were, we, we, we've been wanting to see the sights around here. Uh, it's a beautiful city, but we're, we're in a bit of a rush right now, Kat. So, um, is there something you wanted? Um, she, she, she grins, um, and with, uh, as, as she does, so, um, kind of slinking several feet back behind the alley is Blackjack Mel, um, who, who I believe Rudy and Wrath, you encountered him bef- before. He's kind of got got his light. Bl- he, he's he's wearing slightly cleaner clothing that you encountered him before in in Tearhaven, but you recognize the, his, his face, and he's like, "Hey, you know, we can have a good time. Uh, don't worry, I've kept all of your friends' gold. I'm totally intending to spend it here. It spends better here than anywhere else in the entire world. I'll tell you that." Well, it's good to know you still have it, so I can take it back from you, sir. Mm, you know, we'll see about that. <laughs> um, Sebastian, this, uh, I do not understand their, this back and forth. We have what we need. We should go. Yeah, um, I mean... Teleportation circle takes a minute to cast, so I, I don't know if you want to get started, but <laughs> <laughs> start kicking a, a rune circle <laughs> Sorry. slowly. Uh, Kat, I'm guessing you uh, you know what's going on here, right? Oh yes, you have something, but that uh, that is mine. Oh, we have many things that are yours, actually. Well, are, are they hers, or did she just steal them from someone else? Yeah, I guess your property is kind of, you know, hearsay. It's, uh, you stole it from somebody else, and now we're stealing it from you. So, really, we're, we're kind of doing, doing other people a favor here, and uh, this never belonged to you in the first place. And it doesn't belong to you I, either. But nevertheless, we both want it. And you think you have something, but of course you don't, though, do you? And you know why you don't have anything, right? What we have is your keys. And without the keys, you aren't going to be able to obtain these items either, so... You either get to work with us on this or lose all of your precious items forever. Well, it sounds like you have me over a barrel. I better work with you then. Perhaps we can make a deal. You know how much I love that. I do. Sebastian, is she being serious? I, this is the first time I'm meeting her. I don't know if that's sarcasm or, or she's being legit. I, I, it's really easy. This seems <laughs> like it's a great idea. I, I well, grab- we have not had proper introductions, have we? I am the Queen of Thieves. <laughs> oh, a pleasure to meet you. I've heard uh, Queen of Thieves. I still find it quite funny that you call yourself that, the Queen of Thieves. Why would you want to be the Queen of Thieves? Well, it's a good time to be a thief. Business is booming. And, well... 
There are many things that you can only get in this world if you're willing to take them. And if you're not willing to take them, you'll never get them. And in many ways, others will say that makes you a thief. I, who am I to disagree with them? I'm just someone that is interested in getting what they want. And it seems like that's something that you can understand too. We all just want to get what we want, whether it's profit, power, prestige, or maybe just a little peace and quiet. I understand the idea behind trying to obtain things that you want, but from what I've seen, Queen of Thieves, you want a lot, more than most. And that's not right in my opinion. Perhaps, perhaps. But in my books, it's okay to want what you deserve. And I intend to get what I deserve, one way or another. You'll probably I'm get sure. what you deserve, that's right. I'm counting on it, in fact. <laughs> Are we talking about the same thing? I, d I don't think we're talking about the same thing. Um, I don't think she gets what we're talking about. <laughs> oh, I understand what you're talking about, just as you understand what I'm talking about. I like that we understand each other. I like you very much. Well, Kat, last last time I checked, um, I mean, it's nice to see that you have a little sewer home here in Liberio. Beautiful city to choose. Um, really happy that you had a second home, because if I remember correctly, your last one got overrun with rats when, right, I decided that I was done with you and destroyed your home. So, what? I could do it again. Yeah, it's not the f it, and it's not the first time that you've destroyed a huge part of my world, is it, Sebastian? No, I guess not, but I don't know, it's becoming par for the course with the way that you decide to uh, carry yourself, isn't it? <sighs> Apparently that was a golf term. Golf exists. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's try to keep things match stroke for stroke, then. You seem to think that you have a bit of a... Y you seem to have me at a disadvantage. Oh no. In that you have my keys. But of course, those keys are useless to you. And if something were to happen to those keys and I were not able to get them back, well... Then we would be in quite a situation, wouldn't we? I yes. Mean if yes, yes, we would. Hi, I am Wrath. I will be the future Archmage of Drakenheim. Oh, fascinating. Wait, what? Mm. Yeah. Mm. I, uh, it's a title that's being bestowed upon me in the future. Rath, and we're going to have to talk about that. And how's your sister doing? She's great, thank you. Do you know her? Yeah, I do. I actually miss her very much. What is her name? River. She does know her. <laughs> <laughs> this is perplexing. I mean, your sister is known to a lot of people. It's not surprising. Okay, the Queen of true. Thieves was the Queen of Thieves in Drakenheim, and River was assigned to Drakenheim. It's, it, I mean, I'm. It's not. Yeah. A, yeah. When you put it that way, it's not that far fetched to uh, discover. Listen, we have the chips. Um, and we escaped your sewer trap. Hmm. Yeah. The reason is we are sent. For one thing and one thing only, we need the lost item of Saint Vitruvio, and we knew you had it. Mm. 
Yes, I do. It's in my one of my secret chests in the space between worlds. If you give me the key back, I will summon it right back and give it to you. That seems like a very fair trade. But what's the catch, cat? <laughs> no catch at all. Just give me the box and give me the chest and I will summon my box back and I will and then you can go right ahead and you can open that chest up and take whatever is inside. I don't trust you. I don't like that. that yeah, I have no crazy. reason to trust you. We may have discovered that so, your chests seem to be booby trapped. You don't trust me. And yet you assume that the label that I wrote on that chest is not a lie? <laughs> Isn't that why we took all of them? Well, yeah, we have all of your chests. <laughs> and you are so untrusting of me when I speak words. And yet you think that I cannot r- lie in writing? I mean, you could very well lie in writing. That's why we stole all ten of your chests. I, we did assume that you had a bad memory uh, and, in the moment and that you had to label the chests accurately. I did not foresee that you may have mislabeled the chests. And how do you know that I simply haven't lied on every single one of the labels? Listen, Kat, I know what you're trying to do right now, this intimidation game, but let me lay out some facts for you, okay? You were the Queen of Thieves in Drakenheim. You had an army of Queensmen. Uh, most of them are dead now, thanks to me. Uh, your base of operations is gone, thanks to me. You had another bu- base of operations here in Liberio. I discovered it. I infiltrated it. I stole your chess, and I will continue to thwart you at every turn as I have done so. You keep thinking that you have the upper hand, but I have ended every every attempt you have made to get ahead of us. Yes, yeah, sometimes you get the drop on us. Yes, yeah, sometimes you get to lie and play your little games. But what do you have left other than that sniveling little loser behind you? Sebastian, if you had cooperated with me and done what I had planned for you to do, Right now, we wouldn't even be in this situation. Right now, I would be wearing the crown of Westamar, and you would be enjoying your prestigious new position as Archmage of Drakenheim. Instead, you are struggling around and creating setbacks for yourself. My plans are moving forward, and if you think that I... did not consider the possibility that you would ruin everything. I learned a long time ago to count on that with you. She's mean. She's mean to you. Why? She's mean to me because we have a long history of incidents that I may have caused, and yeah, from her point of view, I continue to cause incidents, but Kat, your quest for the throne, what do you think's going to happen if you sit on that throne and we we put the crown on your head? You're mageborn. You know about the Edicts of Lumen. You know what happens if we put you on that throne. You're going to get Illyria after you. You're going to get Caspia after you. All of Westmar is going to unite. It's a death sentence to put you on the throne for you. And then we probably will never get Mouse back. There are other ways. And I am working on those other ways. Your way is not as well thought out as you think. And you're going to get yourself killed. I have been nice enough to not let you die so far and we have had chances and i continue to give you the benefit of the doubt because i'm hoping that you see how ridiculous your path is and that you will realize that there are alternative ways we have ways that we can do this together but you keep trying to do the one way that's gonna get you in a lot of trouble it won't make me archmage of drakenheim It's going to make you a problem for all of the nations to come down on and destroy you. 
Aren't I already a problem for all of the nations? Aren't they already trying to destroy me? What have I got to lose? Not everybody knows who you are. That's true. They don't. And currently you're not sitting on the throne. You're not breaking the Edicts of Lumen. You're a thorn in everybody's side. But you haven't broken the Edicts of Lumen yet, which they state that every single nation can take up arms against you. Every single mm. city can take up arms against you if you sit. In e yes, indeed. It says that a mageborn who, who holds a noble title will have all others declare war upon them immediately. But that only happens if you get caught. And there's a little bit more that I'm interested in just in ruling a kingdom. It is a lot of work. I mean, running a criminal orga organization alone, that's a, it's, it's a lot. Ruling an entire nation? Hmm. I like the sound of it. But... I'm much more interested in the crown itself than I am in actually having the title that comes with it. What you're saying is you'd rather have the actual crown than rule. I mean, stealing the crown of Westamar would be a crown achievement for the Queen of Thieves, don't you think? I mean, it's a matter of personal, professional, like, a professional achievement, if you will. But do I necessarily want to rule? No. But I would like to wear that crown, and I would like to, hmm, fulfill a few wishes of my own. That's it. You want the wishes? Naturally, of course. So... If you want to have my little cousin sitting on that throne when I'm done, sure. Not a problem. I mean, a crown isn't the only way to get wishes. Again, you're going, you're taking the most dangerous path here. I. There's other ways, Cat. And maybe it's worthwhile hedging your bets. Well, Rath, how's, how's that spell coming? <laughs> <laughs> I, stopped, I stopped casting it. Oh. I was so distracted. Well, I think we need to come back to less about the crown of dragon high, more of what we have right in our pocket and mm. uh i mean at this point i mean yeah we may lose the the saint petruvio's item but uh like we said i think you're gonna lose a lot more if we just walk right on out of here true i might i might but it also it might be worth noting that I have many appointments to attend to. So before you do anything rash, I just think it's worth mentioning that um, I'm supposed to meet with some friends of mine. They're expecting a message from me. Uh, they're currently traveling across Westamar. I think they're stopping off in a little village called Tearhaven. I think that they intended to visit a certain local blacksmith about getting their blades sharpened. Um, they're not the most friendly customers, though, so... I, uh... I do hope that they don't cause any problems for some of the locals. Perhaps I should send them a message, maybe tell them to take their business elsewhere. Well, it might be... Plenty hard to send a message if you don't have a tongue to speak. Well, it would be, wouldn't it? And then I wouldn't send the message. And then they would just decide to carry on with their little visit. Well, maybe I might have to send a message of my own, too. You threaten 
Rudy. I'm not threatening anything. I'm just saying that I have some friends that are passing through Tear Haven. And that, you know. Cat. These issues are between us. You don't even know Rudy. She's done nothing to you. Have you sunk that low? Are you that vile of a person? I have not insinuated anything, but what you're assuming. You've we insinuated can all of it. We can work together. How dare you? How dare you threaten my family? How dare you? You leave them out of this. And if not, oh, you watch. I'm going to burn your world down. I am Little more girl. than happy to leave your family out of this matter entirely. It sounds exactly like what I would prefer to have happen. But of course, if you would like to have your family involved in this situation, that's your choice. So perhaps as long as we can work together peacefully, as long as you don't make some rash decisions or impede my freedom of movement, then there will be no need to involve your family in anything. Then we must make a deal. I have we... zero intent of harming your family, Ms. Whitaker. But if you pull those axes out, if you lay hands on me, I will respond in kind. The ball is in your court, so you choose your next move carefully. I didn't say until you threatened my family that I was going to bring those axes out. I'm saying that we could walk away non-violence and you'd still be a pig in the mud. Very well. Walk away, if that's what you wish, certainly. But I do think that we have more to gain by working together in this situation. Listen, I know what we came for, right boys? We're not saying you can't get your stuff back. We're just saying, be reasonable. Give us what we want, because we did outsmart you and your card tricks. As I said, I think we're due a little bit of respect for that. Give me the chest. I will call it back. You will, if you would like, right now. Okay. But the chest that we give you, you suggested that the labels on them might not be accurate. So I need you to specifically state for me. That regardless of what the chest says, what we are after is the relic of St. Vitruvio, the scepter of St. Vitruvio. Absolutely. We would like the chest that has the scepter of St. Vitruvio in it. Once we have the scepter of St. Vitruvio in our hands, we will give you the remaining chests. Certainly. And I will give you that exact correct chest as long as you help me with a little errand of my own. How's that sound? You won't have to kill anyone. No killing, no stealing, nothing. Oh, but though it might involve some of your other skills. Little favor of mine, help me maybe investigate some alternatives that I have been considering. And you get what you want, I get what we want, nobody's families get hurt. Rudy, I, uh, I have a tendency to make uh, rash decisions at moments like this, and I'm trying really hard not to. I think I want to leave the decisions right now up to you because I don't want to be responsible for anything happening to your family. And you think I'm thinking rationally right now? I just want to punch her teeth out, but fortunately she's I would got rather my you hands didn't. all... I'm not gonna! <laughs> That doesn't mean I don't want to. 
but you know what? She got my hands tied, so I got to do what she says. Although we have things that she wants, she's obviously plain dirty. We best take this errand and get on with what we're doing. We are to perform this errand for you. Hmm. There must be clear terms. We will likely need rest. And if there are any tricks, we will destroy these chests and they will be lost forever. Oh, no. Don't do that. Please don't do that. Um, certainly. If you would like, I do have a manor house with a friend of mine, and you're welcome to stay there. Safely, of course, in all luxury. If there's anywhere that you would like to visit, or anyone that you would like to see in Liberia while you stay over, I can certainly make those arrangements. And, of course, there's only one meeting in Liberio that I cannot arrange, which is exactly what I need your help with. She says, pointing at Wrath. Wrath? Yes, Wrath. Wrath? <laughs> who, do you, who do you wish to meet? Well, you see, I have been trying for some time to arrange a meeting with the Academy Directorate. I have been one of their principal providers of delirium for years now. We have uh, transacted on many matters of business, and they have never returned a single one of my calls. And I would very much like to have an in-person meeting with them to discuss a few possibilities. I know something about you, my good friend. I would like you to introduce me to your father. Who's your father? And for this, you will... You plan on giving us the chest. A... I'll be perfectly honest. Some have paid far more for a meeting with one of the Academy directors. Sebastian has told us about you. Maybe not everything. But he does not trust you. And I do not believe I do either. And I'm pretty sure my cat doesn't like you. I like your cat. A lot of people like my cat. <laughs> Bruce is great. I don't know he, is not, he's, he is not the problem. <clears throat> I will speak to my father. And if an arrangement can be made, you will provide the chest first. For as you know, it is not quite the same payment that some others have paid to meet him. And if there are any tricks or any double dealings or any nefarious ways about this chest and its contents, then your meeting with the directorate will be canceled. I will not give you the scepter until I have had the meeting. But what I will do is I will make sure that you know which chest contains it. And you will guarantee me this knowledge? Yes. And we will do that by opening the other nine chests together. I don't, I don't know if that necessarily guarantees the truth of it in there, but <laughs> you're, I mean, you're changing, you're changing the deal as, as we're moving along. It's what you do. Um, 
I think that Wrath's position on this stance, we will arrange the meeting and you give us the scepter and then you can have the meeting. What's what's so hard to understand about that? You get what you want, we get what we want. We don't want you walking away, pulling the rug out from under us and, 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 and messing up an attempt at a deal here. You want to make a deal, so make a fair deal, Cat. Well, then... If there's no other way to go about it, then you will come with me to the meeting. Fine. With scepter in hand. This is if my father wishes to meet you. Wrath, you gotta come. You gotta get your dad to meet her. Do the he thing. is a busy man. And there may be a reason why he has chosen not to hmm. return your calls. You well, I was hoping we could come up with a plan together about how to arrange that meeting. You want me to trick my father? Perhaps. If necessary. Any way that you can, you know... Surely, you can you can find a way to get to spend some quality time with dear old dad. I may be able to convince him. Hmm. Very well then. Do we have a deal? We arrange the meeting. You give us the scepter. We go with you to the meeting. I will give you the scepter when the meeting starts, not a moment before. Right. First, I will ensure I can meet my father. How can we get in touch with you? I wasn't planning on going anywhere. Oh, you're tagging along. So oh. Do you need we, some time? If we, so. We prefer a professional distance. Um, plus you threatened my comrade's family, so mm. there's a bit of uneasiness. I don't personally want to spend any more time with you than I have. Mm. Well, if you don't want to spend any time with the Queen of Thieves, then you don't have to. Perhaps then you would prefer instead to spend some time with Katarina Von Castle. What? You? Sebastian. You haven't, you haven't been Katarina von Kessel in a long time. Mm. I don't even know if you know how anymore. So this is... I'm sure I can. The Queen oh. of Thieves has done some pretty terrible things. Are you but we all have to... No, not at all. Not at all. But I do have a pretty convincing disguise. <laughs> you have my disguises in one of those boxes there. Is it labeled disguises? Yeah. yeah. One, of, one of the actual chests was labeled Academy Disguises. Uh, I mean, so, so you're coming with us, I guess, now. But is he? And I point over to Blackjack now. I ain't getting near any of those um, those wizards. I, I'm I'm just here to be to, to 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 you know just be make sure that everything stays on the up and up. You know, you know, just just make sure that you know it's all fair dealings, right? You know. Well, obviously, you're not doing your job here, yeah. sir. Didn't this guy rob the to be king? He did. That reminds me. Give me his gold back, and I start to walk over yeah. to him. <laughs> and, and cats like. Them back the Wait, really? This is my fault? 
you stole from the future king of Drakenheim. You best be given that back and anything else you stole. Yeah, I'm pretty sure once he becomes king, uh, Blackjack Mel, we could get you executed pretty quick for that. Let it not be said that the Queen of Thieves does not return stolen property as a gesture of goodwill. Mel, give it back. And he sheepishly produces Wilhelm's coin purse. Thank you I'm going to write that down. The name, yeah. too, is it like written? Like <laughs> I remember property specifically, it was 218 gold. I was going to start. All right. So where do we start on this? I mean, how how we doing? Do we need a, a nap first? I have exhausted much of myself. However, if we're just meeting my father, it is not necessary. Although... We haven't talked in a while. He is, as I said, busy and he can be distant. He may or may not totally approve of my followings and my learnings from Bruce. Hmm. So your father's not proud of you. I did not say that. He just does not approve of me. I mean, uh, being an Asimar born from Academy Directors without magic? Yeesh. I have magic. Wait, it he's, flows through me. He's well, magic? He does magic? No, I've seen him do plenty of magic! Yeah, he, had to, he had to find a cat. Uh, not... <laughs> Listen, I'm not... Uh, Rath, I'm not... Sorry, that was harsh. Why? Why, Sebastian? I j- I'm just... I'm, j- I'm just... My power knows no uh, bounds. Rath, I I'm, have not stolen anything. Rath, I'm just putting it together. The I'm gift. putting... I'm, I'm drawing connections. Just making, like you. Rath? Just because it rolls through you. Rath? Like some kind of weird born thing. I took what I needed. I, she speaks I, the truth, the power. Sometimes you must take it. Hmm. And I, I get in Wrath's face, and I feel like we get like face to face, and like my eyes like have a tint of like octarine, and yours are like glowing white, and we're just like, and I'm like Wrath, calm down. I meant no offense. I was making a statement. We are friends. In your head, Sebastian, I speak telepathically to you. And I say, I do not trust this woman. Do you? Shove me if you don't. I shove you as hard as I can. (laughs) (laughs) And I get in there, I'm like, whoa, 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 boy. And I come back over and I, and I, I, I sort of like am pushing up against like a couple of uh, drunken hooligans. We're yeah, a schoolyard like, tussle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I we start, we start throwing cantrips at each other. <laughs> I grab both Snap. your ears and I'm like, boys, 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 boys. You not in front. Come on. I don't know what's going on <laughs> in your heads. Like, Come on, boys. We can't be fighting between ourselves. We got the queen of these are up. I mean, more like just. We're not fighting. Blood. We're bonding. <laughs> we bond. I mean, I've seen weird sorts of bonding. I did not know we were bonding. This is how I've made almost every friend I've ever had in the Academy. <clears throat> Look, if if we're going to meet my father, I don't know. I, we must reach out to him. I will... I, do, I, do I call him? Do I... Do I how do you get a hold of your father? Do you send yeah, him a do letter? I, do I send him the... I don't even... <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I don't think we have no sending. He, it's he has a really uh, he doesn't like to be that in touch with people. We have um, a sending stone to River. We could uh, <laughs> get her a message. I'm sure she can get a message. Does your sister have a better relationship with your father? <laughs> she <laughs> probably does. 
Um, because uh, she was born with magic. Monty, would I? I I would assume that I. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. You know what? You go do it. Yeah. You go talk to the director. It's, it's not my family. <laughs> you stay at a. You stay. A lot of family brought up oh. today. Okay. Okay, a lot of a lot of touch points. I'm just making connections, Raph. Just... I'm I'm gonna assume that I have like a contact at the like how do I get the front desk at the Enigma Ziggurat? So here is one of the <laughs> only things that you you know, right? Um you have been to the Enigma Ziggurat before. Um and you at least know you know that inside the Enigma Ziggurat, it is almost like a maze. Um, and the only thing that you have known about that, though, is that when you go to the Enigma Ziggurat and you are there physically and you want to talk to your father, you have always been able to find your way through the maze to where his lab is. Right. Other ways that you might have tried to contact him in the past, it, it it does or does not work. But the Enigma Ziggurat itself, you can find your way there. It's not always safe. <laughs> um, <laughs> but okay. but uh, it uh, um, you know that just it, the the Enigma Ziggurat is a strange place. So, so the idea is, is that, uh, you know, Wrath can find his way, but he can't, ex it's not like I can give someone directions. It's, it's not clear to you exactly what's going, like what that might be. Um, it's, it's entirely possible that there might be some kind of magical ward that was put up by, by your father that you just happen to be one of the few people that it doesn't affect got it right um so they they, they uh, the 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 best way that i could explain it as, as an analogy is that like whatever magical defenses like it, it's almost as if like you know when you cast a spell like spirit guardians or uh prismatic wall or whatever like you can nominate a certain like specific creatures who can enter that area without being harmed by it. Similar sort of idea. Okay. Right? Um, Powerful and, magic. Yeah. It's whether or not that magic would allow people going with you to also <laughs> uh, uh, also be protected? You don't know. Um, so it's possible that like you might it might just be you that is able to go and but it's it is also possible that people traveling with you might be also protected. It's the worst that could happen. My um, my comrades, the, the path is dangerous. Um, I know the way, way, but only when I go. And. I do not know if I should go alone or to figure out if he is willing. He is I, a man that does not like to be found. I, well, uh, is I'm there gonna... a way, if you know how to find him, can we just bring her along and flop her in a room with him and be done? That sounds lovely. Seems the that, most direct solution, doesn't it? Rudy, I, um... He... He does not have a public listing. You, you, you know where to find you. It's your dad! You don't know where to find your dad? I do know where to find him. I do not... There is a long-standing agreement that... I do not just bring people to him. I agreement that you can't had a sleepover break. when I was nine, <laughs> and the ramifications were 
detrimental to my childhood. What were the ramifications? I'm so curious. We the details of his uh, of his parental punishment are not important. What is important is that I learned a valuable lesson that day. Raph, I just I'm I, I'm sorry. I'm coming with you. Like this is the enigma uh, an enigma <laughs> ziggurat. That's a t- that's a tongue to enigma ziggurat. I missed my opportunity. You get to go to the Enigma Ziggurat as a final year student in the academy uh, to do a few classes. Um, I never made it that far. I got kicked out. So this could be my only opportunity to see it. I mean, it's fine and dandy that we're going to this fancy Ziggurat thing, but I'm more thinking about my family that's being threatened right now. And uh, I'm sure your dad can handle himself if we put this queen of thieves in front of him. I do not know if I will be able to handle him if I bring an unwanted guest. Uh, however, if you insist, I will do my best to make, keep the peace. That's all I can ask. Well... When are we going? We must rest. The journey is dangerous, especially for those who are not accustomed to the pathways of the fortress. I will be requiring at least uh, a night's sleep. We can Head out in the morning. Very well. I will uh, make sure that I call my friends up and tell them to uh, skip over Tierhaven and head over to Schaffberg instead. Uh, don't hurt Linus. Very well. Is this is this uh, acceptable? Uh, yeah, I guess we don't really have a choice. Um, I will meet you tomorrow at noon at the Pont Grand, the bridge, the market bridge. Agreed. Right. In the meantime, there may be a few things that are useful to us in some of those chests, so... If you'd like to give me my disguises back, it might be helpful for us. Helpful how? Why would we just give you something back? I gave you the gold back. I mean, yeah, you're right. What chest is it labeled? The one that is labeled Academy Disguises. Aha! So (laughs) they are. Well, they are labeled. Wait, what if she's not trying to get... Academy disguises. Back. What if the Academy disguises are the relic of Saint Vitruvio? I can't trust you, Cat. See, this is the problem. No, we will, we will find the trust. Um, Miss Queen of Thieves, would you be so kind to open the chest, admit, uh, with present company included? Certainly. Uh, Sebastian, do you have? I think so. I, I'm going to reach into my bag of holding and pull out the chest labeled Academy Disguises. And I reach my hand out towards her. And then I pull it back. <laughs> and then I, I squint my eyes at her. And then I put it in her hand. She drops the tre- chest on the ground and there's a whoosh and a pop. As, the, as a very large chest of drawers, almost like a wardrobe, uh, appears. The chest of drawers looks like a chest of drawers that would have been in Castle Draken. Um, and, and when I say a chest of drawers, I mean, like, you don't see these very often in the modern day, but um, there are actually chests of drawers that 
they're shaped like a chest, but they have like actual drawers that you'd keep clothing and stuff in that that like wealthy people would use for traveling, and that's what it is. And she, as she pull, pulls it out, she looks at you as she reaches towards one of the top drawers. I have my hands on my staff. I don't know. She opens the drawer, and inside are four academy rings. Mm. And then the next drawer down, she opens and is a purple robe. And and she says, turn around, you two. She points to Sebastian and uh, you three, Sebastian uh, um, and Mel and Wrath. And she takes off her jacket and she puts on and takes off her hat and she puts on the academy robe and 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 sloughs her her jacket off on over top of blackjack mel and puts on the four academy rings um and uh once she's done cha- changing her clothes it just looks like like she just looks like cat grown up Cat. Hey, Sebastian. Oh. She winks. This is not cool. This is painful. Well, it's not easy for me either. Not often we get a glimpse of what may have been. The ropes, uh, the ropes suit you. Yeah, they're pretty cozy, you know. I, uh, I remember after you got expelled, I, uh, I did finish myself and, um, I got my rings and then I left. These are them. Got my fourth ring. Was working on number five when I left. I wonder if they would give me the other ones. You, Brett, I mean, technically, I, I, I never, like, left the Mage Guild. I'm still a member of the Academy. Haven't reported in a while. Haven't paid my dues. Although, technically, Katarina hasn't paid any dues you know, it was under another business. So. Yeah. I wonder what would happen if I just showed up. <laughs> I've thought about it a lot of times. You know? Nobody knows, right? Really. I could just give up the whole thing of being the Queen of Thieves and just go back to being Cat. Are you, are you purposely trying to hurt me right now? I mean, it would be easier in a lot of ways. I could just give it all up, right? Yeah. Just, yeah. You know, maybe I could work with River. We were good friends. I know. Sebastian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're not buying this, are you? After her all little speech of, ah, I take what I want. I'm not. I'm just just enjoying the moment, I suppose. I'm sorry. What about this is enjoyable? It's uh It's sad is what it is. It's a glimpse of something that I had wished for for a very long time. Do you you do you know what happened? Ready? Did he ever... I I know that you just met this guy a little while ago. Do you know what he did to me? You two seem to have a history. We don't... We don't... We don't... We don't need to. He was showing off. He wanted to impress me. It was actually kind of cute. And... 
he was bragging about what he could do with his magic and I was laughing because it was kind of impressive you know and he used to hang out with me and I liked him because he would let my sister come and tag along and you know there's not many guys that will deal with when you want to be close to your sister right like oftentimes they get annoyed that the little kid is tagging along and they feel like a babysitter but Sebastian was cool with it and he used to conjure up some illusions to entertain her and it was fun it was fun and he wanted to impress me and he said that he knew how to we're talking about monsters and telling ghost stories and yeah he said that he was going to summon up the coolest monster we had ever seen you did i just didn't think that you were going to sick it on my sister i, I didn't I, 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 I lost control of the spell it was it was When did this happen? It's about ten years ago. Yeah. Yeah. And now she's in the abyss. I'm, I'm going to get her back. Body and soul. I'm going to get her back. That's the thing, though. You can give back a scepter. You can give back gold. You can be give back the things that you steal. But you can't give back the time that you take from somebody. And you took 10 years from her. You can give her back. But you can't give her back the years that you took from her. The years from her young life you'll never be able to give that back sebastian sounds right. like this is something you've been hanging over his head for a long time it's it's my mistake rudy it's Listen, sebastian i get it it's a big mistake a big mistake. But we all make mistakes. And it sounds like you've been trying to atone for it for your whole life since it happened. Right? No, she's 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 right. She's right. I um I take responsibility for that. I take responsibility for you, Kat. If I hadn't have done that, things may have turned out differently. I I I used to think that I was cursed. I, I used to go around complaining that I was this cursed individual. Bad things happened to me. And woe is me, but the more I think about it, the more I'm convinced that it's not me who's cursed. I am the curse. Everywhere I go, every person I try to help, Every person I become friends with, I end up hurting them. It's what I do best, and I know this. I, I'm making two new friends right now, and I'm, I'm scared, Kat. I'm scared that I'm going to hurt them. And, and you're right. You're, you're right, and I hear you. And I mean, Pluto, Veo, I, I spend my days trying to convince them that they need me, that I, I'm important to them, but, but I need them, and, and, and I don't want them to know that. And and you and you're right, Kat. I I can't get those years back for her. And I and I don't. I'm doing everything I can to try to atone for that mistake. And I'm sorry. And and I feel like I just can't let it go. And I can't let you go. And it haunts me. And I am trying to atone for it. And I don't know how to get those years back for her. But I'm going to spend the rest of my life try, trying to trying to figure it out. If you want to atone, if 
you want to do the right thing, then help me. I am doing it, Cat, and I'm not going to let you take the throne and get yourself killed to do it. I believe there is another way, and I'm going to do it. And you could help me. Your way is not the only way, and it's not the best way. And I don't, despite all of this, Cat, despite everything, I don't want you to die. I don't want you to die either. But I'm I'm going to get... But we're going to... But... But it's not just as easy as getting it. Getting her back. There's some things that you just can't fix. Like that. I know. But, but what can I do? Follow the plan. We both want the same things. Just try to keep up. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? You go talk to your your father, Wrath. Arrange that meeting. If you need to tell him the truth, do it. Well, Mel, I'm gonna have to wipe your memory again. I'm I'm sorry. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> gonna start forgetting <laughs> they're forgetting things are you sure are you sure you gotta do that this time i mean i i i i feel like last time there was other things i just can't remember last time though because you just do i don't worry and that's where we'll take our break <laughs> And we are back from our short rest. We have finished our consumables and refilled our potions, and we're going to play some more D&D. As Katarina and Blackjack Mel depart the alley, leaving you in the midst of Liberio as the sun uh, just begins to wane in the late afternoon sky. You are to meet her tomorrow at noon, at the Pont Grand, which is one of the more well-known bridges in Liberio that is a bridge of shops uh, and other other businesses that is is one of the more prominent sort of marketplaces in Liberio. Um, I'm sorry that you two had to see that. I... I wasn't expecting, um, you know, just forget about it. Uh, Sebastian Crow, still the coolest sorcerer you guys have met. Nothing wrong here. Uh, don't even worry about what you just, inca- it was, it, I played her well. She pop out of the palm of my hand. You know, guys? So, Sebastian, there is much we should discuss. The fact that you banished her sister seems like it would have been relevant to the negotiations prior to coming. Uh, it, it didn't seem important at the time, Rath. Uh, it, I, mm. it didn't seem important that you were intimately connected with the person that we were going to steal from? Yeah, you failed to mention this. I had... No, you're right. Um, <laughs> sorry. Listen, uh, I won't. I won't fault sorry, you, you for gave... what happened ten years ago. <laughs> Listen, if you want to talk about it, you can talk about it. We all make mistakes. I'm not saying that you didn't make a big mistake. You made a big mistake, but 
what's relevant here is that we were blindsided by your connection. Rudy's family is in trouble. I never, I never speak intended to my that. Father, you do not trust this woman, yet you show some kind of servitude towards her as she change you know the magic that she uses you you may not be in the right mindset to continue to deal with her at the level we require Rath, I knew coming into this exactly what she was capable of, and it's why I said that we we wanted to avoid her at all costs. We we were here to steal her things and leave, uh, and I warned you several times not to touch anything, not not to fall into her little traps. Uh, and I am the first to admit that, yeah, I do, I do, uh, because I I have a history, and that history may have put us in a bit of a situation and I apologize, but may have. I can only make proper decisions based on the information I have. I would not have made the same decisions had I known about your history with this uh, Katarina Von Kessel. N- nobody knows her the way that I do. Rudy, is she related to Wilhelm? Seems like it. She said something about her cousin or something, so I assumed she's Katarina Von Kessel, along that main bloodline of royalty in Drakenheim, which is... I don't know what to make of it. I'm sure we can talk more to Wilhelm about it, but at this point, there's nothing we can do. What's done is done. Why do you not simply go to the Abyss and retrieve her? You are a sorcerer. I have been trying to figure that out for uh, ten years, Wrath. Why do you do you know how to get to the abyss? Maybe. What? Yeah, I don't think I can commune with Bruce, and I may ask him. It could prove a valuable bargaining chip if we are to I, continue discussions with her. I grab Wrath and I push him up against the wall. What do you mean you know how to get to the abyss? You, I know you were kicked out of the academy, but you were aware there's interplanar travel. and There is interplanar channel tra- travel for like directorate members. Uh, they don't just teach that to everybody. It's, it's a limited access sort of thing. I've been trying to work my way up the ranks in the academy and get back into their good graces so that I could maybe learn the way there and you're telling me that you know i know of it but i do not know how to do it but if this is a path that we could take then but this is why you must tell us Hmm. these things i just met you guys yeah you could you could definitely ask what bruce says about going to the abyss and I'm gonna. <laughs> take I'm like in the, the middle of talking to you. <laughs> take the arms off my uh, my collar, and I and I look up and I just make eye contact with Bruce. Just me staring at him. And Bruce, do you do you know of this? There is a a creature that took that woman's sister many years ago into the abyss do you know how to get there bruce meows and and purrs and says <laughs> for for one such as i to slip between worlds is but our little reflex especially now that you've left a little door open for me but for you to go that would be another matter. The abyss is a distant place. One might be able to find a way through it through other means, but for most mortals, it is a long and boring and dangerous walk through the Shadowlands after your death. It is easy for you as a mortal to go to the abyss. 
Simply take a dagger and plunge it into your heart. Your spirit will end up there in time. It helps to have hate and fear in your heart when you pierce it with the knife. What did your cat say? Can we get there? I'll do anything. Bruce, the... I follow you and... I, with you at my side, I have no fear. If I could open the door, would you guide me there? The secret isn't getting to the abyss. That's the easy part. The hard part is getting back again. For now, I may ask one thing. In our time together, will you find out if this this sister lives? Will you slip between worlds and tell me if she is alive? My domain is the streets and alleys that connect between our worlds. It is only my place to peer inside the windows and slip through the open cracks where I might find them. But this place, the abyss, this is not a place that is friendly to a cat such as I. Who says there are ways to get there. Really? But we will not survive. I mean, we, we will. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think you understand. I mean, I'll do anything short of plunging a dagger into my heart at this point. <laughs> Why is oh, everybody you're, laughing? You're gonna, you're gonna hate this. You're gonna hate it. There... I will continue to... Explore options. Wrath? And I grab you by the collar again. Thank you. And I, I, I give you a big kiss on the cheek. That was unnecessary. I have uh, not done anything. I mean, you're looking into something that I've been looking into for 10 years, and you seem to have connections. You know what? And I, I bend down, and I'm going to kiss the top of your cat's head as well. Oh. Thank you, Bruce. And I give him I give him scratches behind the ear. I just go up to Rath and I say, Is that, was that your first kiss? <laughs> <laughs> It has been, it has been some time. That's so su- that's so sweet. That like tap But the chin. the love for Bruce is maybe Sebastian. We will talk more about this, but maybe your devotion would be better placed with Bruce. He would be your window into the abyss. I mean, if this cat's going to get me to the abyss, then, uh, and I, I reach into my bag and I pull out like a bunch of rations and I just place them in front of Bruce. And I'm like, there you go, buddy. Eat all you want. It's all yours. Rule mm. the world is the way this is going. Kai can rule the world as long as I get mouse back. No, that's mm. probably a bad idea. The uh, Bruce looks at Wrath and says, this one's blood has a connection you could rip out his heart, and perhaps I could teach you the spell that you could use with it. I love would this cat. Survive? No. 
<laughs> then I will have to think on it. Rath, thanks again. You and your cat are awesome. <laughs> yes, we are. And so we must rest. There is if we are to navigate the 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 labyrinth um, we must be at our best are you trying not to say enigma ziggurat because it's hard to say right it it is it is interesting to use it sparingly (laughs) it's called the enigma ziggurat and it is the word itself is an enigma. Yeah, and ziggurat's hard to say. Yep, it, it is a uh, it is a uh, <sighs> beautiful place. I mean, it can't be cooler than Paradox Castle. All right, Paradox Castle is pretty great. We, I've only been, uh, I've I've only been to see my father. Um. The other times, it is easy to get lost. But I suspect that I can reach out to him before and potentially give him a briefing on what we need to discuss. I've only recently been able to acquire this. This is something that I've never done before. What are you planning on doing? (laughs) Uh, (laughs) That is a good question. Um, So... With my time in the dream world, okay, um, walking with Bruce, uh, it seemed to be a great place to uh, to reach into other places to uh, bypass uh, certain obstacles. So, uh, my at my latest level, I took up the spell dream. Okay. Um, okay. And what I wish to do is uh, this evening uh, cast dream and attempt to contact my father. Okay. That's a surprise. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can certainly try. Uh, if you guys do, you guys want to find somewhere to take a long rest then, and somewhere where you can cast the spell. Um, like, what do you want to look for? Because you're in a huge city. There's, you can absolutely find a place to stay um, of some kind. It how, really depends on what kind of accommodations you're looking for. Then, how long until like the end of the day? Like, is it evening or is it noon? Can uh, you, we go sightseeing? You could absolutely go sightseeing. You've got a, quite a bit of time before even supper time. Um, like it's late afternoon, um, so mm-hmm. you know it, um, it'll be a little while before you know sun goes down and um, uh, and. So you'll have time to find a place to stay if you want to go sightseeing, if you want to go shopping, if you want to check out anything else in Liberia while you're here, um, or make any other plans. Well, guys, we're in the art capital of the continent, and I put my arm around both of you, and I'm like, there are some places I've been wanting to check out my whole life. And then we cue some cool pop song. (laughs) <laughs> and a montage plays montage. with us like a bard comes out from nowhere yeah and we're like there's like a still frame of us outside of the shops with a bunch of bags there's a still frame of us at the museum mm. looking at a sculpture i want to splash in a fountain for a little bit and Raph is in a other. fountain like, we, we splash mm. uh like and 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 bruce gets a little water on himself and he gets really upset well the thing is in liberio is that many of the major thoroughfares through the streets are actually canals and so many people rely on boats rafts and gondolas to get down the major streets instead of carts and and, and otherwise so you would Gondola actually tour yeah uh, I, I i get in there <laughs> rudy's pushing the gondola yeah um Raph and i are pointing at buildings it's it's really easy like like, like basically there there's so many people that are running these these boats through the streets of the city that 
it it's like you just pay a few silver pieces and you can hire one of the boats to take you down any of the major major thoroughfares uh and, and canals of liberio so um and, and which vary in like like some of them are quite narrow and only fit a couple boats and then there's the larger streets and and the actual rivers that that flow out and and through so the whole city is is quite literally built stretching over the the bay itself um and so it's not clear like where there's actual land and what has actually been constructed um because in in many places like everything has just been built up uh, across all of these these piers um and uh, of course it's not good for bruce <laughs> who does not enjoy being on the boats um but he can uh, float he can fly yeah yeah, he flies. Yeah, uh, hovers above the boat even, mm -hmm. just because I'm sure there's water in it. And as you as you pass through the streets of Liberio, um, you see all manner of um, merchants and beggars and traders, but also street performers as well. So you'll pass by a plaza where there will be masked acrobats w wearing diamond patterned um, suits that are doing. Uh, backflips and uh, um, and somersaults um, and telling body comedy stories um, and all of them are wearing uh, and like Sebastian it's a little unnerving for you because more than a few times you see someone that's very dressed in a similar manner to the Queen of Thieves and, and like because there are people that are wearing masks and have wide brimmed hats and very colorful clothing and outfits and so even as you walk through the streets of Liberio it's like uh. <laughs> Yeah. You, you kind of get yeah. the, that moment where, like, you could just see someone wearing a red hat, and you're like, "Ah," uh, um, <laughs> for for uh, for just a moment or two. Um, the 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 streets are lively. Um, there is the smell of baked uh, of bakeries uh, through various streets where there are cured meats. There's uh, this real awesome hole in the wall that you're able to get like a good sandwich um and you can smell like all, all the wines and and various drinks and and everything that is being traded around there there's a, all the best wine in the world passes through liberio um and, and you you even in in liberio you could even find quite co commonly um a caspian and the lyrian having a fight over where the best wine comes from <laughs> Uh, at some point, Sebastian looks uh, down and realizes that he spent 18 gold of Wilhelm's gold. Um, <laughs> and he has like three bottles of wine, one from Caspia, one from Illyria, and one from Westamar. And he's like, tonight, I'm going to determine for myself who has the best wine. But you're about to drink the king's wine is what you're saying. He would understand. <laughs> he probably would. It's true. Rudy, is there anything that you would like to do in this little bit of downtime while you're here? Yes. While we're along the canals, mm -hmm. um, I want to try to use the sending stone to message my family. Okay. Um, what would you like to say? You have 25 words. Okay. Family in danger. Leave Tierhaven now. Get safe to the Lifehouse in Ash Bay. I'll send Trustworthy Academy to escort Trust No One Else. Okay. Um, the the response comes from uh, Abby. Um, by by the gods. We'll, by the gods, we'll leave very soon, seeing some shady people about town. Love you very much. <laughs> I love them too. I hope they're going to be all right. But okay, and then I want to message uh, River on her because we have that setting stone too, right? Mm -hmm. See. Capital letters. <laughs> River, my family's being threatened. Get your butt over there right now to protect them and get them to Ash Bay to safety. Mark my words, and then I get cut off. <laughs> um, the re response comes from from River in capital letters. 
What did Sebastian do? <laughs> <laughs> question mark, question mark, question mark. Hey, Sebastian. <laughs> they, they know. They, they knew. Did they know about your relationship with the Queen of Thieves? I am halfway through the Westamarian wine and halfway through the Illyrian wine. And I have got to say, so far, the Illyrian wine is way better. But I'm saving the Caspian wine for last because Caspian wine is definitely going to be the best because Caspian is the best. What? Oh, sorry, I, what was the question? Rudy, I, definitely having some words with River when we get back. Rudy, I have full confidence in the in the academy and as I have said before the, your family is safe under their guard the youngest and now the rest and I I know my sister and she will take care of them Dead. I hope you I hope you can relax I'm not going to relax until I hear my family is safe in that stronghold. Um, you get a, a, you receive a sending spell from River that says Lighthouse probably not the safest place for them. Can take them to Paradox Castle in Eastern Vale. I can't respond. So. Yeah, you can respond. Yeah, you, oh. yeah, you get twenty-five words back. Yeah, I trust your judgment on keeping them safe, but getting them out now—no ifs, ands, or buts. Okay. Know that the academy can be infiltrated. All right. Yep. Sounds good to me. I hope River remembers about the third floor <clears throat> staircase and how it goes to the door that leads into the trap that puts you on the roof. Uh, we don't want any of your kids wandering in there or into that pit that just falls forever. That's a, not good. Um, but if they a, take the they actually wrong... have a mud pit like that in, in Tear Haven, so I mean, it'd be very similar. You have a forever pit too? Man, I thought that was only in Paradox Castle. Kind of just scoops up the chickens and they happen to run across, so. Wow. Yeah. I gotta see Tear Haven sometime. If it's anything like Paradox Castle, it's probably really fun. Mm. What, uh, it, it, um, as you ride a boat and carry out all these tasks, as Sebastian is drinking a very large amount of wine. It's um, been a rough day. Wrath, what would you like to do? Um I am I'm actually going to enjoy the the sights. Um mm -hmm. it is not every day that uh we get to be in Liberia. Yeah. Um, and and it has probably been a while since I've been here um after my <laughs> remote stationing in Tierhaven. So, uh being a not being a standout character is probably the most enjoyable experience you know i'm i'm sure i've seen lots of other colorful characters so it's it's nice not to be uh an obvious uh sore thumb and uh it just really uh just taking in um i want to say the pageantry uh, uh, of the place and, and, st but still focusing, like, I'm really thinking about what I'm going to say to my dad. Like the last time I saw him was yeah. when we talked to him oh. on the moon. Oh, it would have been a long time ago. <laughs> the, your, your, your gondolier, um, uh, a man named Sergio, um, he he show, points out the sights as uh, uh, he, he's kind of, he's kind of the, this this very um, uh, like you can see like he, he's very tanned right like he he's got that kind of tan of where you can tell that he wears this vest his vest all day and so he has the tan lines to match them 
Um, and so he's got this very bronze skin and, and he has uh, arms bare that show the muscles of someone who spends all day rowing a boat. Uh, and he says, so that's uh, so up that way is um, the Conservatory of Creation. Finest galleries, finest art school, uh, incredible place. Um, there it is. Uh, it is there where where the great philosopher Sarto wrote his work, The Nine Alignments, and where uh, Rosanna uh, painted the lady with the diamond ring. The greatest artists of of the world have done all their work there, in the conservatory. Uh, up this way is the conservatory of uh, is the cathedral of Saint Fiona. In my mind, even more beautiful than the cathedral of Saint Tarna in Lumen. Nothing quite like it. The Pont Grand is over there, and the great Anchor Citadel. That is where the legislator meets, and uh, 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 the the legislator at there in that great hall. And the assembly hall is across the way. <laughs> uh, you, the end horse is the ziggurat. Uh, <laughs> our great sky triangle. <laughs> uh, if you're looking for a place to stay, of course, there is uh, the Harlequins is a good place. I, I have a good friend there. Uh, and the Bauhaus is another good one, too. Technically, a triangle is two-dimensional. I'm just saying. He has found the wine to be quite appealing. I'm only yeah. drinking half of each bottle. S saving? saving? <laughs> I'm feeling quite cultured being here. I've never really been this far out of well, Westmar, if that's where we are, you know? It's just, I've never seen anything. You know, I, I gotta say, I've been in Drakenheim for uh, about a, a while, and um, it's nice to get out. It's really nice. Like, I can breathe. The air doesn't hurt. It's not, like, dreary and kind of rainy. There's... Other than the Queen of Thieves ripping my heart out of my chest, nothing's tried to kill me in, like, a few hours. Mm. Liberio is a pretty fantastic place. Uh, um, and uh, uh, Sergio says, You see, the truth, my friend, every, every Liberian knows this is the greatest city in the world. If you spend any time in Drakenheim... <laughs> Even before, even before, Drakenheim was nothing compared to Liberio. Yeah, it was a little grimy. I'll have to take, you know, I'll be here one day on a trip. Maybe the Academy, after all this is said and done, will give me a, give me a teleportation here and take him on a nice trip with all the trouble we're putting him through. Rudy, I got you. I'll teleport you here any day. Now, Whole family. that intoxicated, I wouldn't trust it. Don't, yeah, don't even worry. Else. So after spending the day uh, both carrying out your businesses, uh, business, um, Sergio says, you best find a place to stay for the evening. Can I take you somewhere? It was the Harlequin and the... Uh... The Bauhaus. If you want someone somewhere a little more restrained but still unique you should go to the Bauhaus if you like to party you should go to the Harlequin you know what you mo won't get any sleep at the Harlequin though. I'll tell you that Wrath do you have any uh, magic that will allow us to sleep in peace it yes and no um, the the magic that I have would only protect us from the elements. It would not the noise. Mm. Um, although, uh, Tiny Hut that... will will uh, give you a measure of privacy, at least from vi visually speaking, but it won't. Um, and like, yeah, I, I mean, it, it will. It would be the equivalent of being like a 
in a very tightly sealed room, I would say, right? Like, Mm -hmm. you know, it it makes it very unlikely that someone's going to hear your conversations and you're not going to get interrupted and you're going to have privacy, right? But, um, you know, it's not going to, like, shield you against divination magic or anything. (laughs) No. Uh Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um. Uh, sh- <laughs> do you guys think the the, ba- the Bauhaus? Yeah, we, I, I believe it's somewhere maybe a little quieter. Um, the only thing I'm thinking is people can overhear you when it's quiet. So, so we're partying all night. Well, if Rack oh, has that I magic that kind of protects us from the noise, on top of that, there's a little bit more privacy, you know? I but I guess either way, if, if the magic kind of protects us, then it doesn't matter which one. Um, I you you might be onto something, Rudy. I I'm very interested. Let us let us pursue the the course of uh, disguise Let's to the Harlequin. Ready. Okay, <laughs> Sergio brings you to the Harlequin, which is a very interesting pair of buildings because there is a row of square townhomes um, and all along the, 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 the pair of the canal streets where the Harlequin is by as, as the sun is coming down, it is a raucous party in the streets. The, the whole, uh, there is the main canal where all the the boat people everyone on the boats are putting up lanterns on their boats and so there's all these orange and multicolored lights in all the colors of the rainbow that are uh, hanging on the edges of the boats and then there are pennants and flags with lanterns and people are uh, on the upper story windows are sending out are hooking the lit lanterns that are all glowing different colors and they send them out onto the the ropes that are between the houses across the uh, across the canal, and so the whole street is illuminated with with a rainbow of colors. Uh, and then there's banners all down the side, and all through the street are musicians playing music. And we're not talking like someone strumming on a on a on a on a lute here. We're we're talking like <laughs> raucous percussions like people have drums they're playing horns the music is loud all down the entire street and people are in the road the roadways with bottles of wine laughing yelling um telling really body and inappropriate jokes there are p- the, as you come down an alleyway there are at least six different people making out in various combinations of, of, of people um, and all <laughs> all sorts of activity is happening all around. It's like the most amazing street party you've ever seen is just happening down this 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 canal. Uh, and and Sergio says, "You think this is fun? You should see it on the weekend." <laughs> um, I'm sure and, it's a fun time. And um, and then he points to the Harlequin where there is a la- large alleyway um, that is between two buildings. It looks like perhaps there might have been a building here that was demolished that is because this alleyway is much wider than, than, than the others. It's, it's enough that you probably could have built a new building in between them. Um, and what people have done in this alleyway is they have made a makeshift stage in the street and they've hung curtains such that anybody that's passing by can just come down into the alleyway and watch a play being performed. Um, And then the Harlequin is literally the alley where this play is and then all the apartments that are beside it because no one wants to live along here, they rent them out. (laughs) As we head towards the Harlequin, uh, Sebastian tries to join in the party. He starts, like, dancing with people. He has his two bottles of wine. He's, like, pouring glasses for people. (laughs) Yeah, he's having a good time. He's he's in it. He's relaxing. As Sebastian (laughs) walks down the street, the bottles of wine that you were holding when you started walking down the street are different at the end. (laughs) (laughs) 
Now they're all Caspian. Oh wait, no. They've this been one's... traded and upgraded. Yes, like people have passed them along a- 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 yeah. a- a- and tra- traded them out. Like people, the, j- just uh, um, and and this is where you know, gold and water and wine definitely <laughs> are the things that flow in Liberia. Um, and so, um, at Sergio's advice, um, he he tells you to uh, um, uh, see if Car- if there's a there's place at Carlotta's apartment at, at the Harlequin, uh, and you're able to make arrangements to 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 stay in one of the spare rooms uh, around the, the 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 place, which. Um, You've definitely stayed in worse places, <laughs> but you've definitely stayed in better. <laughs> Again, I've been in Drakenheim for a while. I feel like mm-hmm. my standards are pretty low. It's it, it's it's hard to imagine any um they, they it's hard to imagine anyone getting a good night's sleep here until the party stops, um, which probably isn't going to be ever. <laughs> <laughs> So there's dancing, there's drinking, there's music, there's noise. Yeah, and and the the show that is playing at the Harlequin, it, nobody can tell you what the title of it is, but it 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 appears to be some sort of raunchy improvised comedy uh, about uh, two couples uh, who can't who have mis- a case of mistaken identity and end up thinking. One is the other, and the other is the other one, and the, and the other one, and and the, the the play is entertaining. By the end of it, everyone is has been with everybody at one point, and uh, ever and there's huge arguments and mistaken identi- identi- identities. Tons of people. Uh, uh, um, uh, there's a whole subplot involving uh, someone dressing up as their own lover to trick another person. It's a very convoluted plotline, but the jokes are good. <laughs> We'll watch. We'll watch for a little bit. Take a look. Let's see. This place speaks to me. I feel like I've been there. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll drink whatever. I'll take a swig out of uh, whatever's in your hand, Sebastian. I, I f- f- put a bottle in your face. And actually, as I do, I'm like, Wrath, what's behind the mask? This, this is it. Oh, no one knows. <laughs> and I, I, I stare intently as you take the bottle. And <laughs> I'm going to, as I remove the mask, I'm going to minor illusion another mask over top <laughs> that has just a hole in it. <laughs> so I just poke the, <laughs> I poke the bottle Whoa. into the hole. Mask exception, and, and and drink it. Behind the mask is just another mask. You're a mysterious man. I like to be private. As the uh, as the evening dies down, and you are all able to retire back to your rooms, um, would you like to set up the tiny hut and and try about casting these spells? I um. Yeah, after after what so it's like one in the morning, two in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we're just getting into the room. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to get settled. Yeah. It I might be sure louder now. You. It might be louder outside now than it was even earlier. <laughs> Believe it. Um You Do you know the spell? Um oh, for yeah, I got the it. tiny hut. Yeah, I got it. I got it. And I I clumsily (laughs) make a tiny hut by wandering around the room. Uh, Yeah, I'm like stumbling around the room and every once in a while I hit my staff on the ground and a rune appears. And eventually I have like a mostly coherent circle around the room and then the hut kind of a wobbly tiny hut. It's not perfect. Yeah, it's not a perfect uh, dome. It's got some... (laughs) It's got some lumps in it. <laughs> yeah, it's a lumpy dome, but it's there. Um, and then uh, I'm gonna enter the hut, and 
um, attempt to uh, reach out to my father through the dream world. Okay. I pass out instantly while you do this. I'm asleep. All right. So the spell dream shapes the target's dreams. You choose a creature that is known to you as the target of the spell. They must be on the same plane of existence as you, and creatures that don't sleep can't be contacted by the spell. Um, you or a willing creature you touch enters a trance state, so you're going to be the trance state. Um, acting as the messenger. Um, if the target is asleep, you appear in the target's dream. Um, and when you cast the spell, um, you um, if the target is awake, you will know it and you can either choose to end the trance um, or wait for the target to fall asleep. Yeah, and uh, the plan would be to, if if he has not slept yet, if he's working late, you know, as as sometimes he does, uh, I would uh, simply mm. wait in the trance okay. until he is uh, fall asleep. You cast the spell and end up waiting till 5 a.m. Um, before he does fall asleep and you're able to slip into his dreams. What do you so want I, the dreams to look like? And you can choose your appearance. I I appear as myself. And I want it to be somewhere calming. So there's this this um, rolling plains that he used to take us to. Um, and it was only a small small area with like mountains and um and a, and a nearby village and it was just one of those places that we went on a on on a, for for like a family travel but uh, i want those planes to be sort of like infinite uh in all directions so they just sort of continue on forever and ever okay are and are you going to appear as yourself uh, yes. Wearing your mask or not wearing it? Um. Ooh. I continue to wear the mask. Okay. You appear standing behind your father. And the words come out. And he, as he speaks the words... His voice is soothing and angelic. And you hear him say at first, Penumbra, what did I tell you about coming into my dreams? I'm working. And he turns around. And your father is a lavender skinned man with short black hair and a thin black beard he has angelic features and almost like a halo that glows uh a, like just like this thin layer of light that just echoes around him but he wears um he wears basically a pair of slacks and a and, and a shirt that is stained with ink and some sort of octarine fluid um and even when you you look at him the, oh, um your father has always looked the same through your entire life um and there is an eye about him always that of like impatience but when he sees you he says right it is you wrath 
If it was your mother, she would have made you without the mask. What do you want? Father, I... I... do not wish to disturb you, but... Were you waiting for me to slip off as I was working? Because I would have worked all night. I this is very... Do... I'm in the middle of something extremely important, so this better be very important. Look, I I know there is there is uh, someone that wishes to meet you, and I before I know I know it's just that before I brought her, I wanted to ask if it was all right. It is it is an imperative. Unless believe. this person is a king or a queen, I don't have time for it. Thankfully, um, you're gonna really. Uh, it's self-appointed um, royalty. She is one named the Queen of Thieves. She says she has reached out to you on multiple occasions and you have denied her request. Father, this is very important. There are... She is going to want to talk to me for hours on end and I have work to be doing. I've already wasted enough time with you. She, look, it would be a, a very brief interaction. We just need, she has this uh, rod that uh, we uh, intend to trade um, for uh, um, other uh, stuff. And Stop stumbling over your words and speak. Look, it's just that it's, I, my friend, he needs it. And he's going to be the king of Drakenheim. And if he does not get it, he will... And we need it to... Please. You're rambling again. I thought you were supposed to be well-spoken. thought I made you better than that. Come on. I'm... I apologize. I'm... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Father. Forgive me. It's just that... <sighs> this is important. And it, it would mean the world to me if you just met her i'll bring her to you and uh and then w once she's met you we get what we need and then you can did uh, that creature teach you how to cast this spell bruce is not a creature he is divine in his own way like us he gives me such strength and i would follow him into anything he is the reason that we are speaking now and and i know you don't approve of him but he is giving me so much it is please father please i i i know you're I going to for beg going to beg me I wouldn't do this if it didn't matter I did not know that she knew of our relation it may be the only way the only the only choice that we have to get the thing we need uh, the rod of Saint Vitruvio that's it it's uh, important it's I know what the Rod of San Vitruvio is. Then you know how much this means that she has it. She stole it. She is a thief. I do not trust her. But And you want me to meet with her? She You want me to, to meet, meet with you. her? She wants to meet with me. She knows you. She uh, requests an audience with you. And she knew that I knew you. She seemed to be a former academy mage turned what do you mean a former academy mage what do she you know about this robes and rings and uh, she knows magic she knows magic this queen of the i knew that this queen of thieves has been well she has provided us with lots of delirium and i've it's been important Perhaps it's worth it to just spend a few minutes to just make sure that the supply is not interrupted. 
I'll need a lot why, for what I'm why, working why, on. Why? Why do you not wish to meet with her? She says that she has uh, asked on several occasions. Because it seems like whenever anyone ever wants to meet with me, all they want to do is ask me for things. Case in point. I do not believe I ask for much, Father. I, I keep my distance. Hardly anyone knows that we are related, and it has been some time since uh, I have seen you. I, I promise I will go back and continue my work for the Academy. This is, as far as I can tell, Academy business. This is something that River is also on board with. I like to imagine myself as a creator of wonderful things. Wonderful things that, like the gods that made this world, I can wind them up, set them in motion, and let them off to find their own fates. Without them having to pester and meddle me. I wonder how the gods did it. How is it that they were able to make this world and all the creatures in it? I wonder, perhaps they do still get bothered by us. Or maybe they've gone off to the next creation too. I am working on my next project. Yes, yes. I, I know and I do not have busy. a lot of time to spend on old experiments. But, you have contacted me. However you've learned this spell, I am impressed. You have earned your rings, and certainly, though you have had to bargain for the power that you have, if it were not for such bargains, we would not have any of it at all. So I am impressed. Thank you. Thank you, Father. I will meet with your queen of thieves. I don't... What does she want from me? I, I cannot say. I do not know. She is a... I do not trust her, but she carries many... many disguises and... She has this item, this this rod. We must retrieve it if we wish to put Wilhelm on the throne. And why do you want to put this Wilhelm on the throne? He will he will he will give me access to the to the powers of Drakenheim. I will be further and closer uh, to being the Archmage of Drakenheim. I know I can do it. <laughs> oh, my boy. Okay. If this Wilhelm is going to make sure that the Academy has access to the delirium that we need for our future projects, that I need for my projects... That it's worth my time. Yes, yes. the The delirium flow will not be interrupted. You will have what you need, and it won't stand in your way. I Good. will be in and out, and and you won't have to deal with it. Are you going to bother your mother like this? No, no, no. Because she will be even less impressed than I am. I I promise once once we have retrieved the rod, there will be a, a 
long time before I will <sighs> All right. bother you again. You and sh- this this queen of thieves wants to meet with me in person. Uh, correct. Yes. Yes. You may bring her to my workshop. You will need to bring her to the ziggurat. You, it will lead you through. Yes. I just want you to know that some of your siblings will let you through, but they will not let your friends through. So you'll have to deal with that. So they must wait. Mm. Well, they're... They're probably going to try to kill this, uh, this queen of thieves on the way in, so... You might want to bring your other friends along. I, I, I can do, I, I know, I, I, I'm sorry to bother you. Thank you so much, father. And, and we hope to see you, uh, if we are not killed. Uh, Well, I mean, it's fine. My, my children kill each other all the time. Just have to pick, put them back together again. That hasn't happened to you yet, though, right? I, I do not know. Oh, uh, okay. I guess it hasn't then. Well, we'll see. Uh, and and I'm going to sort of slink, uh, slink back um, over one of the like the meadowy hills and and as i slink away and as he sort of disappears over the 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 hill i i sort of retreat from the dream world as it sort of collapses in and then i I return to the uh to the room the 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 noisy room with the distant uh (laughs) the distant like yeah (laughs) this slowing down of the party like like just waking up in like a like a dumbing down house party sort of coming out of this trance and then I'm just going to uh, calmly pet Bruce as I uh, attempt to get some sleep I'm just snoring in the corner (laughs) all right (laughs) the cat sleeps the, the cat sleeps on your head my head or Rudy's yeah, head? Yeah, on your head. Yeah. Okay, great. That's what I need. I need that comfort. Bruce knows how to comfort me. <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. Need the cuddles. Need the cuddles right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sebastian's just uh, snoring away. <laughs> yeah. Well, with that, you manage to get some sleep over the course of the night. Sebastian, you wake up with a wicked hangover. You see, the trick is if you drink enough, you forget about the noise and you pass out. But I wouldn't call it the best sleep. Sebastian, you can roll me a d6. Oh, no. Uh. (laughs) I got a three. You wake up without a third level spell slot. So you, so if you expand, so because of the your night of heavy drinking, you are not able to get a full, a full, full night's rest, and uh, don't recover one of your third levels. We long rest. Yes, you do get a long rest. A little. Woo! I think I may have summoned a shadow spawn in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> As an accident, just by accident. Uh, there's been an incident. There's like a weird little shadow monster in the corner that's just <laughs> skittering around. Oops, my bad. Kill me! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I, I snap my fingers and it goes away. I just, Oops. I wake up well rested. I'm like, listen, when you when you uh, raise ten children, you know, you can sleep through anything. <laughs> Um, you wake up in the morning to the smell of fresh 
breakfast pastries wafting through the streets as many vendors are are out and about making all manner of uh, 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 making their morning sales. Um, some of the finest tea and coffee comes through Liberio as well. Uh, and uh, there and, and whatever pastry you prefer, you can find it uh, along the Harlequin Way. I heard the best kind of coffee in the morning is, comes in these really tiny cups. I'd like to find the tiny cup coffee. Mm. Oh, yes. Liberian espresso. They, they do cappuccinos, espressos, macchiatos, all the good stuff here in Liberio. Um, Sebastian disappears for like five seconds and comes back with a, a tower of muffins and a, <laughs> the largest coffee you've ever seen. And he's just nursing putting muffins in his mouth and drinking his coffee. Well, what's your... My comrades, I was able to make contact with my father. Yeah, what'd he say? That must have been nice. To meet us. Oh, wow. And the Queen of Thieves. Wrath! That's right, bud. I underestimated you. A catch. You may perish on the journey. Yeah, what else is new? What? We you mean we're going to perish. We must, uh, in a sense, protect the Queen of Thieves on our journey through uh, the Ziggurat. It is our only hope in to uh, ensure the meeting and to guarantee the wrong. Hmm. I hope. You are up to it. What, playing bodyguard for the Queen of Thieves? Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess I protected Wilhelm. I can protect other royalty. Well, what if uh, we accidentally just uh, blow her up? Hmm? Uh, I know you are. Uh, <laughs> no, that's a bad idea. I know, I you, I know you partied just... quite hard last night, but I... I would remind you that the Rod of St. Vitruvio is the goal of this exchange. I was kidding, Wrath. We're not... uh, I'll protect the Queen of Thieves. I don't actually want to hurt her. I just... She bugs me sometimes, and now now we get to play bodyguard for her in your dad's triangle. Uh, And for yourselves, too. Um, I believe uh, there will be many enemies... Um, they do not like outsiders, and if we are to make it there uh, alive, we will have to uh, work together. Your dad couldn't like shut down the defense systems for us. He, he, is this like a test? Uh, he is a uh, creator, and um, those he creates uh, tend to protect. And they, you are not. You are not to be found by, you are not to find him, only I may find him. Um, So when you come along with me on this journey, there is peril. So what you're telling me is that I get to go into an academy stronghold. I get to blow up academy equipment and I'm not going to get in trouble. I don't think so. Um, Cool. As far as I know, it's uh, right all above board. Then I am down. Okay. All right. Do I have to sign some sort of waiver letting me know that uh, <laughs> something happens to me that's not the Academy's fault? Um, if something happens to you, it would likely be the Academy's fault. However, uh, the... It is not meant to be a, how, how can I say it? This is not, this, this is a, a common deterrent mm. um, in the Academy Towers. This is a uh, standard procedure. What, what you, uh, Rath, what you do know about the Enigma Ziggurat is that the Enigma Ziggurat used to be palace that was created by the sorcerer king Orion the third um what and um when the academy was formed 
they seized control over it uh, and and transformed it into their stronghold. The thing is, it's not really known how large the Enigma Ziggurat is actually on the inside, and there's large sections of it that the Academy has not secured yet. <laughs> it's bigger on the inside. <laughs> Uh, and um, the the passages that you travel down to get to your father's lab um, necessitate essentially going into the restricted areas of the Enigma Ziggurat. Um, and so that's kind of his defense mechanism, right? Um, he uses the fact that no one can really safely get through that the the labyrinthian bowels of the enigma ziggurat as a protective me measure for himself but it seems that you know perhaps he knows something about the enigma ziggurat that others don't because you're able to travel through like that you are able to make your way back right but yeah there are people that have tried to go marching down those halls looking for him and they are not seen again <laughs> He is a very busy man, so we must be short with our meeting. We will bring the Queen of Thieves there when she has done what she needs. We will gather the rod and we will exit promptly. Um, Do we have to I, wait for her to get her out safe or we just get the rod? I believe then... we would best serve to all travel together uh, if any of us are separated, uh, the chances of survival are meager. Sounds about right for the Academy. And I and I do warn you, he is a very, uh, as I said, busy man, and he uh, intends to continue working. Uh, so uh, do not pester him with uh, silly questions uh, or uh, inane small talk. He is uh, direct and to the point. All right. All right. So don't ask him how his family is. Don't ask him what he had for breakfast. Uh, he he's a complicated individual, uh, but he is a very uh, important uh, person in the academy. Noted. Um, very well. So you had agreed to meet the Queen of Thieves... Uh, when? Around noon. Around okay. noon. Um, to prepare for our journey. Is there anything you'd like to do before you set out? I eat a lot of pastries. Sounds good. <laughs> and I drink a lot of coffee. And actually, I'm going to acquire a couple extra pastries and an extra coffee to give to the to give to Cat when we see her. Alrighty. I and heard we... around one of these alleys that they have the best like flavored ice that is around. Mm. I would like to find one on our way and maybe have Ooh. a treat just in case I die in the uh, ziggurat. <laughs> Uh, already in the morning, there is an incredible gelato stand, and the line is around the corner of the, of the block. How long do you think it will take us to be in this line? Will we get there for <laughs> noon? Or <laughs> maybe uh, we might be a, a bit late Rudy. when your dad gets We're late. Dad... <laughs> you you, you might be a little late. Wrath, can you like <laughs> disguise yourself as the cart owner or something and get me some of this gelato? You wish me to use magic to uh, skip the line. Would you rather be late to see your father, who has very much a busy schedule? As you guys, I... <laughs> as you guys are arguing, there's already a purple mage hand floating over towards and I'm like Wrath you gonna do it or am I I'm uh 
I want to uh, disguise myself as like a 130 year old human. Okay. And uh, the dead human. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like, really, really old. Okay. Um, and uh, like really old. Like okay. You, you're, yeah. You're really worried. old. Uh, you're really worried. old. And I have uh, <laughs> like a cane. And okay. and I'm slow, and I'm uh, I'm going to attempt to uh, get to the front of the line um, under guys that I may not survive in the line. I I grab Wrath and I come along with him. I'm like, come on, great grandfather, we'll get you your gelato. I, I promise. don't mind waiting. No, no, uh, friends, friends, we we need to get to the front of the line. Uh, my great grandfather, he, he could die in All an right. hour. You can, I, you can... I know my time is less, and and the only thing that I wish is for that sweet gelato to touch my lips for the last time. He just wants his gelato. He's such a kind old man. But I do not mind if I have to. Die in this All line. Right. I will. Die. The two of you can make performance checks because <laughs> oh, not deception. We're not deceiving. Uh, um. Okay, Sebastian, you can make one of you can make deception. One of you can make perform per, uh, performance. Whoever makes the performance check, if you succeed, the the deception check is made with advantage. Uh, Rath, what's your performance? Okay. Um. So, well, I have uh only a plus five for performance. But I have a plus nine on deception, and I get uh, <laughs> advantage. Uh, advantage if I'm trying to pass myself off as another person. Okay, I'm gonna make the performance check. Okay, I also have great. a plus five, but okay. I figure. So I got a twenty-eight. Okay, the people in the line uh, um, uh, are so understanding, and you're able to get to the and. Uh, they make their way for this kindly old gentleman. I thank everyone as a thank, thank you, thank, thank you, you thank. young man. <laughs> oh, you are so kind. What you kind might not of gelato see would you end, like? But it's only because my time is so short. <laughs> Did we even so ask Rudy what gelato she wants? If you never hear my voice again, it would be understandable. <laughs> hey, mom, what's his, what's his favorite gelato? <laughs> and I say, blueberry, I if they have it. If not, maybe the lemon one. It's delicious. I would they, love it. Thank you. They have the lemon one. <laughs> All right. One lemon gelato, please. All three right. lemon. Three lemon gelatos. As you come around, kind. <laughs> as you take your gelato, as you come around to the pont, pont ground, <clears throat> head through the streets. With your with your gelato, it's delicious. It's amazing. Like I, so I, I can't. I, I, yeah, I can't even uh, say. Come around. The, the Pont Grand is this wide bridge that stretches over the 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 Golden Bay, and both sides of it are covered in buildings. So as you step onto the Pont Grand, you actually don't realize that you're stepping onto a like. It's not immediately ob ev evident that it's a bridge. Because it just blends into the street buildings and all, but the the shops here, as you come into the, sh the the string of shops, what hits you is the smell of leather, because the the shops in the Pont Grand make le like there are many leather stores that make like boots and gloves and bags and fine really fine leathers. There's jewelry. Like some of the most finest merchandise that you've seen, you, you would see, is along the Pont Grand. And there, in the middle of the Pont Grand, wearing a purple robe and holding in her ringed hand a blueberry gelato, is Cat. <laughs> so you had the same idea as us. Without saying a word, I walk up next to her, reach into my bag, pull out a coffee and hand it to her, pull out a muffin and hand it to her. Uh, um, she, uh, she's, thanks. Uh, um, she, uh, she turns around. Did you have a good time in the city? I walk up to her and I take my gelato spoon and I reach into hers and I say, mmm. It was delicious. 
Where did you get the lemon? Uh, street that way? I'm not sure. Can I try it? No. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fine. I mean, <laughs> yeah. It's... I, I, see, I really wanted the lemon gelato, but they didn't ha- they were out of it at the place that I went to. <laughs> I wanted the blueberry one, but I, they only had lemon. No, we're not bonding over gelato. I'm, I'm still mad at you for threatening my family. I understand. Well, uh, um, I was going to should... say that maybe you could take it, you know, if all this is uh, agreeable afterwards, maybe you would want to buy some gelato and use one of those scrolls of teleport and go visit your family and bring them some gelato. Maybe I'm not. That would be lovely. It's so nice that you have a family that you can go back to because they're not dead. Well, I'm glad they're not dead that you haven't sent someone to hurt them. Indeed. Unnecessarily. I, there may be more pressing matters than gelato and hurt families. Uh, I understand. Sebastian, how much wine did you drink last night? About the, you know, the same amount I usually do when we would, uh, you know, our wine nights. And was the Caspian or the Illyrian better? Caspian. Hmm. Did you have the white or the red? The red. See, I've heard that. I heard Illyrian white is better. I mean, I'm a sucker for a good Caspian. <laughs> it seems to bring on the uh, the the worst hangovers. The red. Yeah. It seems to hit you. Caspians always do tend to leave the worst hangovers, don't they? Do you do you normally? You said you normally drink like this. No. Uh, sometimes. When I'm celebrating, or the opposite of celebrating. Well, hopefully we'll have lots to celebrate. Did you manage to arrange a meeting? We did. He is willing to meet you. He knows knows you, Mm -hmm. and it has... uh, garnered enough for a brief moment of his time. I warn you, though, he is a very busy man. He, I'm was, sure he is. And uh, I'm a very busy woman, so we'll have that in common. Why do you wish to meet him? It took much convincing to, con- to, to have him meet you without any sort of reason. And I had to very. I, I had to press, and 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 I assure you, I was very firm with him um, about the nature of our uh, engagement. So I would ask that you tell us why you wish to meet my father. Mm. What what is this meeting about? There are a few reasons why your father, in particular has been one of the members of the Academy Directorate that, first of all, I've been able to find out the most about. Which makes him a little bit more of a known quantity compared to some of the others who are much, much more elusive compared to him. And that's saying something, isn't it? The first thing is I'd like to hedge some of my bets. The Academy Directorate have knowledge of secret spells that they do not share with any others, and I am hoping I can bargain with him for knowledge of some of these spells. If I can get uh, get the knowledge of these spells from your father, then it would make a lot of things a great deal simpler for my plans going forward. But there's something else. In my travels, I encountered a a creature, for lack of a better term. It was like the constructs that the Academy members so often have following them. Like River, you've seen the Guardians. Yes. But it spoke, and it talked, 
and it had thoughts. At least until a few of my men killed it. <laughs> it was adventuring in Drakenheim. When I recovered its body, it had a delirium heart. Someone at the Academy made this thing, and I want to know who. That's... I don't believe I've ever heard of it. anyone making any construct that could speak. No, but almost all of the items that have been made with delirium have been coming out of the Enigma Ziggurat. Your father is in charge of the Enigma Ziggurat, so if anyone knows where this thing came from and what it was, and where I might be able to get more of them, it would be him. All right, then we must agree on the terms. We will take you to see my father, but it will be quite dangerous. As you are likely aware, the path to get him is going to try to kill you. Hmm. We will do our best to ensure that you make it there in one piece so that you may retrieve the rod of St. Vitruvio. We will speak with my father and then we will leave. Sounds like a plan. By the way, how are we going to get up to the Enigma Ziggurat? Uh, is there an entrance? Because I can fly us up there. Raph, how do you normally get up there? I would normally hire a guy <laughs> the you either have to fly or teleport up oh uh, we have the means for both river would usually take me do we do you know the the key is there a teleportation circle there um i i pull out katarina's book in front of her <laughs> and that had the uh, all of the teleportation circles on it. That's mine. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Did you take my scrolls too? Yeah, just one one second. I'm looking. You at took something. both Kat, my. I shouldn't just leave things laying around, cat. Uh, 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 fair, fair warning. Um, those scrolls are trapped, and you should definitely not use them now. Are you just saying that? Is this? Is it, it, no, I'm I, I'm not. Those those scrolls were set up as a trap so that if you actually use them, they'll teleport you into a sewer chamber that fills with water and drowns you. You're being serious, aren't you? I'm being I'm completely being... serious. Uh, it, yes, that's what they're there for. Because I was going to use them. We can always them. give them to someone we don't like. True. Because uh, I was about to use one to get us up there, <laughs> and you're saying, no, no, I shouldn't do that. Uh, that would be bad for you. I mean, yeah. I mean, and you, because you'd be coming with us. It only, it, it only works on the, 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 it's meant to separate people and yeah, no, I kind of cooked up this thing that I thought maybe I would trick you into using it so I could kidnap you. That was kind of, that sounds like you were trying to drown me. Well, I figured if you were being drowned, I, I would have a little bit of leverage and that way you, it would motivate you to be more agreeable. I mean, probably. Um, and I almost shared my gelato with you. I can't believe this. <laughs> you, you, thank you for being honest. And I guess we'll use uh, one of the ring spells that we have for a teleportation circle. Uh, but here, right in the book, uh, Enigma Ziggurat, you have all of the Academy strongholds, don't you? Yes. And if I may, Rudy, you know, I wasn't actually going to drown him. Drowning is a horrible way to die. I was just going to threaten him. 
there's a difference between threatening someone and executing that and going ahead with something that sees people actually die. I would say far more often than not, I choose not to kill people. I find the living are far more useful than the dead. It is true. Honestly, would you have drowned him a little bit? Uh, yeah. She likes me too yeah. much. <laughs> it, it it would have been fun to see him squirm. Anyway, um, I have a code for the uh, the teleportation, so I can get us there. Uh, All right, are we ready? Let's go. And with that, I use the key in the book and my ring to teleport us into the Enigma Ziggurat. And that is where we'll end for the night. (laughs) Yeah. Oh no, why are we (laughs) doing (laughs) this? Our heroes working together with the Queen of Thieves. She seems not that bad. Yeah. (laughs) This is the worst. Yeah. Everything is the worst, and I love it. <laughs> the Queen of Thieves makes me so mad! Uh, well, I, th- I thought we had her this time, and we didn't. <clears throat> and, yeah. Well, a big thank you to our amazing cast, Kelly, Jill, and Joe, for playing tonight. And a huge thank you to Kyle for everything that he is doing behind the scenes. Kyle, I miss you, and I miss your thumb. I miss you, Kyle. And um, a special thanks to our Dungeon Master, Monty Martin, for uh, running such a great game. Uh, We rolled dice once. I used a spell slot, and it was in my sleep. Um, (laughs) But it was an excellent game. A lot of of emotions, a lot of uh, role play, and a lot of of interesting things coming. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Awesome. Well, uh, Joe... I mean, uh, yeah, amazing game. Uh, in the game tonight, we use uh, a variety of incredible assets. Uh, we didn't get a chance to use them all tonight, but uh, please, uh, if you want to uh, use these in your own stream games at home, you can do so. Uh, we've given we've been uh, given permission to use them in our stream games, and you can use them too. Uh, things like tabletop. Oh, oh no! Oh no! We lost Joe. Joe. Games. Uh, the cartography by Josh Show. Uh, the music with tabletop audio. What about the uh, what about the um, the Kickstarter? Yes. So uh, those of you should know, uh, Dungeons and Drakenheim is now shipping uh, from our successful Kickstarter. Woo! Uh, if you missed out on the Kickstarter, head on to Drakenheim.com so you can order yourself a copy of our book. It is available now as a PDF with the digital map pack. Uh, and I, I'm pretty sure we still have a couple bundles and hard copies available, which instead of pre-ordering and having to wait a long time, you should get them hopefully sooner than that <laughs> because people are starting to get uh, all their amazing stuff. People have already started painting the miniatures and have yeah, been sharing. Yeah. Sh- yeah uh, which are amazing. Uh, that is so cool uh, to, to, to see. So it's, it's really good stuff. Of course, and don't forget to look at the links below for our Teespring store where you can find all of your favorite Dungeon Dudes merch, including Shadows of Drakenheim, uh, Yes, 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 uh, etc. So take a look at uh, bit.ly slash Dungeon Dudes merch. Our videos and live streams are made possible because we have an amazing Patreon community that helps contribute to our work. If you want uh, to, uh, if you enjoy our work as well, please consider signing up for our Patreon Follow the links below, patreon.com slash dungeon underscore dudes. And our Patreon community gets access to our Discord, which uh, is exclusive for patrons, where we discuss all things Drakenheim, all things D&D, and all sorts of other stuff. You can also take part in the uh, monthly writer's rooms, where you can help Monty and I uh, just chat with us about upcoming things, uh, secrets for only the patrons, as well as upcoming scripts. Uh, you can give us new topics for us to film. Uh, we also have a monthly Q and A that we're going to be uh, getting back into the swing of things, where we sometimes look at homebrew. Yeah, I think we're going to be doing another homebrew workshop soon. So, yeah. yeah, cool, nice. cool. Yeah, so join us on Discord and come hang out with the amazing community there. Awesome. 
awesome. Well, uh, and and of course, we have new videos on YouTube every other Tuesday and every Thursday. Check them out on youtube.com slash Dungeon Dudes. And be sure to join us live next Tuesday when we record the campaign live on Twitch. You can check us out from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern time at twitch.tv slash dungeon underscore dudes. You can also watch all the video episodes on YouTube or check us out as an audio only podcast as well. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week as we decide the fate of Drakenheim.